Remember the first time you ever helped your mom or dad cook? It was so much fun. Your mom looked so cute before she trimmed her mustache. She turned on the mixer and whipped the cream into a frothy, unusable mixture. Then you beat your first egg. <laughs> Remember the first time you decided to leave home, but some strange force kept holding you back? Do you remember the last time mom served you breakfast in bed? Yeah, Mr. Robot hanging from the dinosaur cup. Uh-huh. Oh. And remember the first time you caught a burglar and you had to keep him quiet until the police got there? Tell him to be a man. <laughs> Tell me a man. They're here already? I'm still putting on my face. Hurry up, please. Don't hurry up, please, me. You're a man. You just have to look presentable. I have to look drop-dead gorgeous. <laughs> oh, why do you have to stare at me like I'm in a zoo? I could use a few minutes of privacy to do my business, you know? <laughs> oh. Oh, you hit your head? Yeah, yeah you hit my head. Oh. You want to know what it felt like? <laughs> oh, that was a romantic night, Herbie. Call me if you find my contact lens, won't you, honey? <laughs> if any movie producers are watching, there is one kid on this video that's got that special something. I think he may be ready for his first screen test. <laughs> It is kind of special. Did you do you feel the tentacles on it? Yeah. Do you know you ate some of that already? You ate. Some, you ate some of that. That was that thing I gave you to start with today. That was what was in here. Remember? Only it was a big chunk. in the morning. Can't get it to turn over? Call Shepherd Towing and we'll give you a lift to your doghouse. Extra charge for rear end tow. My life's work is to leave a stain on every single square inch of carpeting in this house. Okay, I got it there. Further up here. Well, my vet tells me I gotta cut down on red meat. Now, where did I leave my filleting knife? Are you going to tell us where the biscuits are? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, are they liver flavored? Uh, no. No? Uh, yeah. Yes, wait a minute, make up your mind. We have ways of making you buy. Yeah, yeah, they That's are. Better. Okay. Oh, man, I've been cramming all night, and I think I'll finally pass my driver's test. Now, if I can just get the cat to work the pedals. A new special from Vin De Bone Productions, Scotty Gets a Strike. America's Funniest Home Videos, News of the Animal World. One hump a rack. The rider wearing the straw hat almost breaks the proverbial camel's back. <laughs> oh, look at the poor camel. <laughs> Anchor a turkey. 
some old hens have discovered not the fountain of youth, but the tree of youth, where old buzzards are transformed into young chicks. Vienna Ostrich. The heavyweight is taken on by the featherweight. <laughs> Who's the chicken now, you long toenail, blood beaked, overstuffed pillow? Why don't you go bury your long geek neck in the sand, you loser? <laughs> and that's America's funniest home videos, news of the animal world. Why do they call this game soccer? I call it sock him. Sock him again. Look, I know we're not on the same team, but uh, would you like to go for a soda? Uh, sure, let me get the door for you. Yeah, I'm going from third to home. Uh-oh, there's a guy with a ball. I better go back to first and try the whole thing again. <laughs> this might have been a mistake, but Todd restrung his racket with a cord from his warm-up pants. Because the bat's hollow doesn't mean I can't knock it a country mile. <laughs> Where'd it go? It's in your bat. <laughs> There's no way you can win because this is my lucky day. I'm wearing my lucky white t-shirt and my lucky shorts and my lucky odor readers and my lucky aftershave and this is my lucky street and all my lucky friends are cheering me on. Oh, look at that, a lucky penny. <laughs> Here's a simple math problem. If a tree is 30 feet high and a truck is 20 feet away, how dim-witted were these guys? First the singing nun, then the flying nun, and now the nun that everybody's talking about, the gardening nun. You'll laugh, you'll cry, when Sister Jane Marie breaks her vow of silence. <laughs> When trying to kill a vampire, use a wooden stake. A pitchfork just ticks him off. Oh! That pitchfork ticked me off. Oh. We made up a little wedding parable for this happy occasion. A garter off the thigh is worth two legs in the bush. <laughs> Cut my arm through, I think. All right. I'll tell you something, but I'm three times the man Jacques Cousteau is. Uh, unfortunately, I'm trying to wear his wetsuit. I got it. Uh. Okay, we all know the truth here. She's gonna have a baby and he's gonna have a case of beer. This is Joseph Albury in his backyard pool just hours before he was taken to the ocean and set free. <laughs> Swim free and stay away from the nets, Joseph. One man's workout is another man's insurance claim. Fritz, how well I take care of my automobile. Every time I leave my car, I always remove the stereo so no one will steal it. Great stereo, great car. I'm one happy guy. Hey, Gunther, your engine's still running. Oh, oh no, Fr Fritz, get away from the video camera and help me, you idiot. I'm an idiot. Who's the dork that forgot to put the car in park? Oh, this is awful. How are we gonna get the picnic basket out? I'll bet the deviled eggs are ruined. Little Scotty can be difficult sometimes, and this is the way they get him to wash his face. Wait, so I was late on a few payments. Don't repossess my boat until I say goodbye to it. Let me kiss the bow. Ow! I'm getting away from this golf course as fast as I can. Can you believe it? I lost 20 new balls in the water hazard. Let me just lower it a little bit more, a little bit more. Now let me just get my arm in there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Gee, I'll tell you something, Jim. You're in great shape. I love watching you dive. I'll just sit under the diving board while you dive. You're an excellent dive. Why am I skiing behind a cigarette box? 